I'm underneath the cart towards the rear of the transmission. Took off the transmission pan. You can see oil filter right there. And that rod right there is the problem. It is not in the groove, and that is why my car cannot shift into gears. This right here is the gear. This is how it's supposed to be, but the yellow piece is the issue. This occurred after I worked on the bell body in this NAD1 transmission. When I was on car ramps, I put it in reverse and it struggled and I, because it was on car ramps, I had to get the car down. I just pushed it really hard and finally worked and then it never really could accelerate. It was very hard shifting and in the beginning later it became easier, but it would never drive. There is a flaw with servicing these transmissions for Chrysler, Dodge, and Mercedes and why you need to be careful. So let's get this done and I'll show you how to fix this. You are using the exact same tools that you used when removing the valve body or transmission pan. And by the way, I have a full detailed video on removing the valve body plate in the transmission or doing a full trans filter and oil change, including how to add the right amount of oil with a scan tool and chart. Those detailed videos are in the description and I'll put all these tools and parts you need there as well for easy access. A quick like and subscribe is always appreciated, especially if this video helps. Okay, back under the car. Just took the trans oil filter off. Grab a ratchet with a T30 bit to remove this bracket detent leaf spring. This just comes straight up. Leave the alignment pin in or remember to put it back in later. <laughs> Okay, so that bracket is off, that leaf spring, and you can tell it's definitely broke. That's not good. This is not flat against here, so that looks like it's probably one of the reasons of the problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove some of the screws at the back and see if this will, I'll, and I'll do some of the others as well. And the purpose is to loosen so I can pull this out a little bit, but without removing the entire valve body. Like with removing the transmission oil pan, I'm going to lightly crack loose all 11 of these valve body screws with a ratchet and Torx T30 bit. Then switch over to a power drill to be faster. Just loosen the T30 screws. Do not fully remove. And keep a bottle jack or suitable lifting device holding this valve body. Clean this up a little bit and let some oil drain into a pan. So here it is from the... Again, you can see the gear. Now with these, see that it's broken. And I almost, let's see, let's see. Nope, I think this needs to be dropped a bit lower. To the top view. Angle view. Loosen this a little bit more. Maybe I can get that out. Just loosen them. So right now, it's low. And it can go like this. See that? But when it drops in, it should drop in right there. Let's see if I can turn this right now. Nope, I have to lower it some more took all the T30 bolts off in the rear and loosened the ones in the front. This is the selector valve rod. It broke on the side because it wasn't lined up properly. It's plastic. You can see that the new bottom piece has a nice Y shape or U shape design where the gear rod fits into in the transmission. And the top bad valve rod is clearly busted from misalignment when it was reinstalled. Damn, that's crazy. 
I'll put a link in the description of this part. So throw this out. Now I'll show you how to properly line this back up and pay close attention so you can finish up whatever transmission work you have to complete. Let's go back under the car, fix the shifting gear problem. See that circle right here? That's where the hole is. Here's the piece. Stick it in the hole. Now, the way I had it before, it was like this. And that was the prop. Because it was sticking out. Although the little rod went into it, into the U-shape, what happened is this needs to go this way. Now it's in. And now it's pushed on. So it's nice and flat on here. That rod will fit in this U-shape, Y-shape, perfectly. Once I tighten it. See, see that move? It moved because of gravity. So again, see that? This is not good, like this. This tab, rectangular little piece, needs to go this way, right where that little cutout is right there, in, back. Okay? Here's a nice close-up. Notice how flat that is? See? That's what we're looking for this time. Side shot. And you can tell as I push this, that will line up perfectly with that rod. Now I'm going to push it up, get one of the screws going, and use a power tool to screw these T30 screws in faster. Next, grab a torque wrench and tighten the screws to 5.9 foot-pounds in a crisscross pattern. Then, reattach this leaf spring or detent plate right now. This is the only piece with that really small screw. See, there's the piece. Look at how tight that is. No gap, no space. Beautiful. Please mention in the comments if this video helped or if you have any questions. And check out the other detailed videos on this channel, especially the work done on servicing this transmission. All tools and supplies used are in the description. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember to always think how to help others out. See you in the next one.